KPX Fun's Don Lynn was at the court hearing, and Don appears they're still looking for one more suspect here. Veronica, police say one suspect is still on the run. They say it was a three, a crew of three. Two men took the laptop from the victim at the Starbucks and a getaway driver. And today, the sister of the suspected getaway driver says her brother is innocent. When my brother was home with my baby, like he always is. Shaquilla Reed is the older sister of suspect Byron Reed. She says no way her brother drove the getaway car. She says Reed was babysitting when the crime occurred. I have four kids and no daddy in their lives. My brother is there for me all the time. And now they want to take him from me. That's not fair. The 22-year-old suspect is facing the most serious charges, murder in the course of a robbery and second-degree robbery. Investigators say Reed drove a car into the victim, killing him. This would be Reed's second strike. He was convicted of robbery in San Francisco in 2017 and was on parole. A judge denied cameras inside the court hearing. Reed and his sister repeatedly screamed out why when a judge said no bail for Reed. The judge also told them to stop talking to each other in the room. He told me he loved me. How that make you feel? It hurts. Oakland police say surveillance cameras captured the entire crime on New Year's Eve. They say the footage shows Javon Lee and another man snatched the laptop from victim Shuar Yang. The victim chased after the robbers to the getaway car where he was hit and killed. The 21-year-old is facing a count of involuntary manslaughter and second-degree robbery. Lee also has a robbery conviction in San Francisco in 2017. The judge set his bail amount at $250,000. Lee's family declined to comment. The other boy, they have his picture in the Starbucks. They don't have my brother, so why are they trying to put the higher charge on my brother? Friends say Shore was killed on his 34th birthday. The IBM engineer was a native of China. His parents are scheduled to arrive in Oakland on Saturday. The community will hold a vig vigil Sunday morning, 1130 at the Starbucks to remember the victim. As for the two in custody, they'll be back in court on Monday. Police have not released the identity of that third suspect who is still on the run. Live in Oakland, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.